I'd like to start with a very basic question. Do you think that everything is going to be good or do you think that the future is not looking so good? Um, you see, I believe that we have, you know, imagine this is the human reality, right? It's like a bit of a bubble. Each of us, we have our own reality. Part of my reality is living in a place called Eastern Finland. Um, part of your reality might be something else, right? So we have our human reality. Um, and the swans have their own reality and the birch trees have their own reality. And you can imagine like these being kind of some bubbles, right? So around all of this, right? Something that affects each of these bubbles is what I would just like to call nature, right? So uh, it's not so it's not possible to say we humans and nature, right? It's the same thing. And when you look at our situation globally, you could easily say that things are very much fucked up. Yeah, I don't know any better way to put it. So, um, fixed mass extinction we're talking about. We have protests going on around the world. We have over 400 uh, times had declaration of climate emergency, uh, representing over 400 million people already. Yeah, so uh, climate emergency has been declared. And I think that's a very um, controversial thing to do. I'm not suggesting to declare climate emergency. I think it's a bad idea. Why do I think it's a bad idea to declare climate emergency? It's very simple. Um, climate is just, you know, a symptom. It's like if you have a headache because you have not been drinking enough water, because you have not been sleeping, um, and you get a headache and you go to the doctor and tell the doc doctor about the headache and the doctor gives you, you know, this pill, this pill or this pill. You know, the headache might go away for some time, but it will surely come back. Yeah. So if the doctor doesn't uh, ask you, you know, have you been drinking enough? Have you been sleeping? You know, it's like um, you, you will not get rid of the headache. So uh, climate change is very similar thing. Right? It's very nice that we are talking about it. It's also wonderful that climate change is uniting all of us. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you are a terrorist or um, gay or you know rich, like money rich or poor, happiness rich or happiness poor. Uh, if you come from a place called Eastern Finland or if you come from a place called Mozambique, it doesn't matter. Climate change um, is for all of us. Yeah, so it's totally independent of all kinds of man-made borders. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, um, we can't run away from this. But as I said, climate change is only a symptom. Yeah, our problem, of course, is ourselves. So, and if you are, you know, a company or a city or you know, just an individual like me, uh, and you consider declaring um, a state of emergency, do that one. Yeah, declare a state of emergency because we fulfill all criteria for being in a state of emergency. We fulfill all criteria for being in a survival situation. So, uh, criteria like so survival priorities is like food, water, air, uh, health, shelter and community. These are our six survival priorities. In the moment, none of these six are covered in our so-called modern civilization. Um, and that's a very problematic thing. Yeah. So, even more problematic is that we don't notice it. Because we have the feeling that everything is great. Kind of. Yeah. So, uh, we do things as we were told or shown by our parents. Yeah. So, if our parents, you know, made laws that allow us to fly for holiday, uh, then that's an okay thing to do, right? No, it's not. Yeah, if our parents made laws, our parent generation made laws that allow us to, you know, rule over life and death in the rest of nature and, you know, uh, kill whole forests, um, the law allows it. It feels like that's what we have been doing, yeah, like living on cost of other beings. It's still not an okay thing to do, yeah. So, um, our status quo is. Is, is of course the, the thing that is fucked up and who is our status quo? That's me, that's you, that's all of us. Yeah, we are everything. Everything is us. 
I am everything, everything is me. And you are everything, everything is you. It's, it's one thing, all connected, all nature. And everything is interdependent and interconnected. So when we are talking about sixth mass extinction, uh, there's just been a report released today that uh, potentially within the next, was it 20 years, um, every eight species will be extinct. I don't remember the numbers exactly, but it sounds like, you know, horrible, like really horrible. And of course, some things we might think like, yeah, you know, what does it matter if, you know, the mosquitoes get this extinct, you know, they're like, they, they have been a bother all the time. No, without the mosquitoes, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah, so um, celebrate mosquitoes, <laughs> be grateful for them. But I want to talk about reality, and reality is that we, we, we have a serious situation. Um, and you, you might find yourself being in the situation where you have to decide, do I want extinction or do I want rebellion, right? Um, do I believe in the future or do I not believe in the future? I don't think it's, you know, we don't have the, the differences left and right and east and west and poor and rich and powerful. And not, you know, those are, those are part of the debt system. So what we need to think is like life, yes or no. Yeah, because if we continue with this bullshit here, yeah, this is, you know, big, big part of this, what you see here, those trees that absorb CO2 from our air. Um, a big part of this goes into the packaging for your internet order. Yeah. So, um, and the energy for all this. So, most of the stuff we don't need. Basically, all of it we don't need. We are born naked. Yeah, don't forget, we are born naked. We don't need this. It's a habit. Yeah, addiction. And... Um, we need to get out of this. Um, so the question is, um, do you want to be part of the solution or part of the problem? Do you actually believe that it's possible to be part of the solution? And that's really the thing, like, you have to imagine that it is possible. You have to decide for yourself that it's possible. It's really just like this click, that's the thing. We need to just, for each of for us, need to decide. It doesn't matter what politicians decide in, in a Paris climate agreement, which is a compromise between economical needs and, and reality. Yeah, so it doesn't matter, we can do a lot more each of ourselves, and that's like you know, not buying avocado in Finland, um, not buying bananas in Finland, or not buying new clothes in Finland, or, um, or wherever you are. Yeah, spoons, my favorite subject, spoons, because. Why would we even think that's like, you know, the, the kids, I, I'm talking a lot with kids and the kids are angry and rightly so. The kids are really angry and upset because they understand that we parent generation, we were not doing so well. And our parents, I mean, like we didn't know better. Yeah, we have to, uh, you know, that, that's be honest, like we, you know, we are wired to copy our parents' lifestyle. We don't realize that we are the only species where this is a bad idea or where this has become a bad idea. Yeah, so we think that's okay. Neighbors do it, the law allows it. It's like drilling holes, right? You're born with a drill in your hand. and You, you don't know better. Drilling holes, that's the thing. And we don't realize that we are sitting in a boat and we don't realize what it does to drill holes because each hole might be really small. It doesn't, you know, just a few drops coming through of water. So, <sighs> um, yeah. So what do you think? Is it possible or not? Lost case or not? If you think it's a lost case, for sure, then it's a lost case. Um, if you want to survive, and imagine, just imagine, right? You're in a car accident. It's, it's looking really bad. You, you don't remember the crash, you just open your eyes and see, I don't know, uh, you're bleeding heavily from many places. And it's very obvious for you, uh, you don't have the means to fix it. Uh, you see, you will die within the next probably minutes. Yeah? And then imagine there would be um, you know, this mystical fairy coming or a god or I don't know what you believe um, and say, hey, I could fix it for you um, if you want. So you can choose. Do you want to die now 
or you may keep on living but you have to start from scratch again tomorrow you have to start naked all over again tomorrow so if you want to you know keep living then start from scratch again and i think that's exactly our situation we find ourselves in in something that is not even you know it doesn't it doesn't qualify to be called survival situation it's it's it qualifies to be called suicide because we know better we know that the food we eat requires more energy to get it to our table than what we get back from eating this food we know that still we continue and if we continue like this of course then it's suicide yeah so if you want to continue you know that kind of suicide thing then please maybe i don't know speed it up a bit do everyone else a favor speed it up a bit this suicide thing um consider that i don't know i i'm considering this all the time am i more part of the solution or am i more part of the problem am i beneficial for the rest of life or am i doing more harm so it, it's a fight it's really a fight because with my own ecological footprint for sure for starters i'm part of the problem but i'm on my way out of that yeah so and that's i'm, I'm actually starting again from scratch yeah so this whole process of taking our um our habits our you know status quo our our way of living our lifestyle that we are used to and making it more sustainable that's not my approach anymore because more sustainable is not going to cut it there's either sustainable or not it's either life or it's death so an ecological footprint of seven planets welcome to finland that's suicide ecological footprint of two planets even that is suicide so i don't know how many countries already had earth overshoot day or not earth overshoot what is it um you know like yeah i mean like countries yes like that that if everybody would live like the people in these countries that we would have had used the resources of the planet for this year many countries already and we've just may yeah it was a weird climate going on by the way weird weather here um not now but we had snow on the weekend also in germany there was snow on the weekend in may huh? <laughs> place called germany so that's that's really the the point um if you believe that things are fucked up and there's nothing we can do then maybe you want to speed it up a bit don't let everybody else suffer that's like really really selfish it's not an adult thing to do yeah um so on the other hand i think that this is not my reality i i actually believe and i see that the change that we need is happening and in huge fast steps i'm very very optimistic that we have first of all we have everything that we need to fix things because it's not an alien spaceship that is threatening to push us into the sun if we don't change yeah we know the problem it's ourselves so we know the solution me you all of us and it's like uh, back to spoons you know it's like things like not buying spoons anymore we already have more spoons than people we don't even need to think like um what is a more sustainable way to make spoons what is the more sustainable material to make spoons stop business as usual doesn't work and the only way to stop this is just stopping it each of ourselves stop buying new stuff i don't know when i bought last time something new no need we have everything more than enough for everyone yeah, so it's about sharing and yeah really getting our asses off the couches getting rid of the couches maybe sharing them yeah um we need huge steps no mistake there we really need huge steps it's like you know it's really like getting rid out of an addiction i don't know if you have tried stopping smoking if you've ever been a smoker not an easy thing to do unless you really you know it's a mind thing and that's really the point it's a mind thing and what i see in the moment how many people are you know active on change extinction rebellion fridays for future there's so much happening 
I, I would almost say, you know, it's like there's always this, you know, in, on, on almost in every demonstration you see this banner, um, what is it, system change, not climate change, right? Well, I, yeah, I mean, like, as I said earlier, it's not about climate change. Even if you don't agree that climate change is happening, you have all reasons to agree that we are in a survival situation. Yeah, because the facts are so clear, even without any signs. Yeah? Um, circle of awareness, circle of disturbance. Very easy. Imagine you're a hunter-gatherer. If your circle of disturbance, like how far into the forest you are noticed, is bigger than your circle of awareness, how far into the forest do you notice? Yeah? Then you won't survive because your potential food notices you before you notice it runs away. Uh, your predator notices you before you know before you can run away. Yeah, it's like very easy. And things haven't changed. This, the rules of nature are still the same. No matter if you live in a house, wherever you are, there's nature. Wherever you can die, there's nature. So, um, yeah, just a very simple one. You know, if if you that one for example or, or the food example yeah energy input output of your food uh, same goes for all, all kinds of other things so um, I don't think we need to talk about this anymore if we have reason to change and when I look around and see the change that is happening like you know the story maybe of the of the um, what is it colibri um, hummingbird Right, who is you know, just trying to put out a huge forest fire with his small beak flying back and forth. For sure the happiest of all the animals. Do your part, do what is possible. And that's like seven billions of small steps. Yeah, seven billion steps, that's like, that makes all the difference. So please get on board, get on board, get on board. Because if you don't get on board, there's nothing that you can tell your grandchildren. You won't even be able to, to tell your grandchildren anymore that you were part of the problem. Because your grandchildren might not have a, have a place to live anymore. Yeah. So, join the rebellion. The, the old system is dead. Yeah? We don't need to demand system change because the system is, is dead. It, 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 it was never able to live. Capitalism, like, it was never able to live. It's just an illusion. It's a story made up by us. The whole money idea. It's so strange. Who would come up with this? Really weird people, of course. Yeah? So, what we need is a change in our head. And that's like change, like, Property is actually not possible. We have to understand that property is not possible. Um, financial profit is not possible. Yeah, um, and we we need to go to need to have need to do basis. Otherwise, we are not tolerated in nature. Ever anybody who is living beyond your needs, nice to have, nice to do, is not accepted. Death penalty. It's very cruel but very fair, because on the other hand, it's life, and I mean like life. Life is so cool. Like, have you ever been drinking from a spring? Directly, like, put your mouth in a spring and drink from the earth? Like, a liquid that has always been there, has been going around the world for forever, for so many times? Like, the same molecules that have been part of a dinosaur at some point, maybe? And then you drink them? That's like life? Um, when you, when you communicate with another animal, like when you connect and feel like, hey, we see each other. I don't only see you, spider, you see me also, and we know that we see each other, and we have contact, and hang on, did you just ask me a question, or is it my question, spider? Yeah, like life is amazing, and like, I live for life. That's why I live, and that's what I live for. I live for life in all its diversity. I can only exist because of life in all its diversity. And if I, you know, if you enjoy laughing and living and breathing and, I don't know, just being, then you have to fight for it. Yeah. 
Let's be healers, let's be fighters, warriors, but peaceful. Peaceful. That's the only way, peaceful, with gratitude and with greeting. Greeting and gratitude. And if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to change your life, how to, you know, what solutions work for you, because it's really not a possibility to tell anyone what to do. Pushing never works, it's always pulling. But if you want to find out, you, I mean, you, you might understand that why you need to change, why we need to change. But if you don't know what to do, take a look at the full moon full stop. Because the full moon full stop is like the survival super tool that gives you all the... Yeah, it, it gives you solutions that work for you. Um, it's been working really great for me. I can recommend it. Take a look at it, full moon full stop. And every full moon taking a day off doing nothing that's in the moment doing nothing is actually more being part of the solution than being part of the problem easy way that's it love you everybody um, love life bye bye